Hello everyone and once again a warm welcome back to the Dr. Malmer channel. So um, today we're doing something different again. I was wondering, you know, you have AliExpress and Temu, so how about um, furniture from Temu? I know it sounds like a pretty <laughs> uh, wild idea maybe. Um, so yeah, let's uh, have a go at it. And I just received um, this package. So, uh, made in China, of course, and... Uh, well, I have brought um, some tools. Uh, this knife. This automatic electric battery powered screwdriver and of course if uh, things go horribly wrong and I get frustrated I also have this by my side so uh, I'm prepared for the worst now let's get right into it and um, we shall start off by uh, opening it up. So what, what kind of furniture is this? Well, um, we will build it and uh, the knowledge of that shall come to us. It's not a huge piece of furniture as you might have guessed. Okay, I will have to help this a bit more out. But I have to be careful because I don't want to scratch too many things. So I will gently just let's add some light maybe if possible. I don't have too much light in this area unfortunately. Um, I hope it's okay anyway. So um well, first of all, it all seems to arrive uh, pretty nicely packaged. I have some instructions here. So, um, it's only one page long. And, um, well, this is uh, the end result. Um, it's sort of a thing and we shall see in what context it should be used or that I intend to use it if this actually holds up <laughs> for the task so um, we shall extract the pieces this actually has some uh, wooden like texture uh, it's of course a plastic wrap but um, yeah uh, th this thing uh, cost about 30 or so, 30 to 32 US dollars equivalent, but then I had some uh, discount stuff, credit back campaign kind of thing on Temu, you know. Um, so, um, but the base price was something like 30 to 32. Oh, actually, look at that. I didn't expect that. We actually get a some kind of a screwdriver. Uh, maybe we shall use that just to get the full-on Temu furniture experience package, so to speak. And uh, we'll see if they have uh, managed to count this these screws and accessories correctly. Um, that would be nice. We have. Um, this piece which has some kind of dent not dent but yeah the lacquer is sort of matte here but uh, that's okay I think yeah we can of course if we zoom in here we can see that it's not perfectly you know, 
there are some chips around the drilled out holes um, maybe it's even more visible here let me yeah. but okay um, after all it's it's not like I expected um, a whole lot but actually as you can see it um, it ships with them um, some protective corner plastic 3d printed now not 3d printed but uh, but um, protection for the corners let's see if uh, they worked properly well overall it's okay it looks to be fine I definitely had worse experience um, so let's see what step one is then find out the top plate and the bottom plate and screw into the three-in-one connection self-tapping rod the largest two plates are the top plate and the bottom plate I suppose it's those two and um, in the picture they have placed them like this so we have two screws on the edge here and then two holes I suppose for screws and then two holes there so I suppose we should do the same thing on both plates um, so um my setup here is a bit yeah okay this is just a quick video well quick it's of course a relative thing to say um so yeah let's um begin and uh, maybe we should zoom in a bit and I will Well, the first screw did actually enter. Let's try the second one. Yeah. Okay. Great. So uh, I will uh, continue in the same fashion and um, yeah but um, maybe I should try this one just to see if it makes a huge difference. Well, it was easier, yes. So, um, I will uh, go with this. Uh, just to be fair, this does work, and considering there are like four, f let's see here, f five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
nine screws of that kind. Maybe this would be quite adequate. But uh, of course, this isn't very... If I have a tool like this, I will use it, or even another manual screwdriver. But it's actually very nice of them to send this with the package. So, uh, um, a thumbs up for that. Okay, so... Uh, this first one is... Uh, sort of finished. I'll put it aside for now. Let's bring in the second one. I can turn it this way maybe. If I'm off camera, I'm sorry. This setup is pretty temporary. I just needed to I just got this and I wanted, wanted this piece of furniture set up, so I thought, that, why don't I share this moment of truth with you all? So. Alright, so, um, second piece also finished. What should we do now? Um, install the back plane, put the fastener and tighten it in the plus direction. Place the fastener into the connecting rod in the direction of the fastener arrow. So, um, note the orientation of the black hole. Oh black holes all right so um yeah we can use this one i suppose uh and then we should we should have this i suppose also yeah um, let's try it out and uh, refocus a bit. So, um, on the picture here, we have it facing. Yeah, so um, with the black hole, they mean these two. So that because they're not symmetrical, this one is outside of these two, while this one is on the inside part of these two, so to speak. So uh, they have it turned like this. So we should do that as well. And uh, like that. And then we need these fasteners, as they call them. And uh, we have an arrow there plus and minus so we should this is pretty standard things i suppose and actually these are not made of plastic like some uh, so-called furniture companies have uh, decided to cut costs on uh, these are actually metal so uh thumbs up for that as well i did not expect it from temu kind of thing so um, yeah uh, and actually for this purpose I will use the included because we don't need a lot of uh, torque here or a lot of revolutions uh, we just need uh, to uh, install them and uh, turn them 360 degrees or so so uh, the arrow pointing down because we have the studs sort of protruding from there yeah all right so that's uh, 
step two finished. Let's have a look at step three. Place the hole into the partition and tighten the fastener. So we should take the next part and do the same thing, basically. And um, if we turn this the way that the picture depicts, like that, then uh, we should be able to follow this pretty much exactly. So uh, this one looks more symmetrical to me and uh, we should be able to use whichever side we want, like this or like this. Uh, so yeah. Let's do it like this. And I will turn it around for the camera. And refocus a bit. Yeah. And we shall tighten it with these fasteners in the same way. Right, that is step three finished, I think. Um, screw in the middle laminate. The laminate is fixed with self-tapping nails. Okay, so we should... Uh, place this piece I suppose they call the laminate we have some pre-drilled holes there and there but none there so um, that mean means I think that we have a um, We have holes here and there. They should match with the two sides. So this one and this one. And uh, it should go like this maybe. Seems kind of right. Or like this. But uh, in that case, it sticks out a bit here, which doesn't seem right. So it should be like this. It does stick out a bit here anyway, but all right. I'll go with that anyway. Um, Self-tapping screws then. Well. Um, okay, so, um, like this, I suppose, and then I need a screw. But actually, it does stick out a bit here on this side. I wonder... Did I do it correctly? Well, at least it, it's, it's flat here. On the same level, so I suppose that's correct. Let's go with that. Um, so... Um, Really? 
perfectly aligned. There, okay. All right. Seems to be sturdy enough. Okay. So, final two steps. Um, align with the whole position and cover the top plate. Tighten all the fasteners and screws and complete installation. So let's do that. I will bring in the top plate and uh, I suppose it should be turned this way around. Yeah. And um, we shall uh, insert these fasteners. Um, so now the screws, or the studs, or yeah, they're on the top side. So we shall orient the open part like this and tighten it down. Over here, we should do the same thing. Okay. So, there we have it, gentlemen, it's um, finished, it's sturdy, and um, yeah, well, what, what is it? So let's have a look at that next. And so... Uh, here is the result. Basically, yeah, it's a piece of furniture to put your uh, printer onto. So I have, um, for, instance, for instance, I can store some uh, photo paper here, uh, ink for the printer, lithium battery, for my vacuum cleaner, um, spare A4 paper, some uh, things, boxes, yeah, so it, it raises the printer up a bit. Um, this printer is a bit on the big side of maybe for this piece of furniture here, but on the other hand, yeah, I gain a lot of space beneath it to put some stuff so I can... Yeah, it um, sort of works. And, um, well, my first piece of furniture from Temu and it seems to hold the weight and uh, it's sturdy it was easy to assemble it had all the parts needed no screws were missing so yeah I'm pleased all right that's it for this one so um, let me know in the comments if you have orders any furniture from AliExpress or Temu or sites like that 
and uh, did your furniture meet your expectations or were they a complete fail?